What's up everybody, it's Jack and Dan. And today, we're gonna do an updating and rescaping on all the beta tanks. All four of them. All right guys, so first, we haven't done a video in a couple of months at least on this whole rack here, so we're gonna kinda do a quick update, kinda going through the tanks. First of all, on this top tank, um, the last video you saw was we took the red crypts out of here, we put them into the angelfish tank, and it's been doing fine. However, Shortly after that, even though you may have seen that video recently, we shot it way before spring break. We do videos sometimes way ahead of time. So um, Wade, who actually we named after Deadpool, Wade Wilson, because he was red, because we love Marvel and all that, he passed away shortly after that. So he passed away almost six weeks ago now. And we knew he was getting very old and he started slowing down a lot. And honestly, we thought he was gonna die earlier, didn't we, buddy? Yeah. I mean, he really held on there for a long time. We'd see him sleeping on one of these leaves probably or something. About, he's probably lived for about two or maybe three years, I think. Yeah, we had him for, right after right after Cap passed away. Yeah. Uh, so he was in here for a couple years. So anyway, this tank has basically just been sitting. Um, what we're gonna do today that we decided is the moss has started to kind of grow back a little bit here. We're gonna kind of move that moss. We're also gonna take this uh, little guy out and possibly replace that sculpture. We'll go over that. We're gonna probably take this bamboo out and put it in the princess tank, the centerpiece tank on the front rec room uh, thing that we did there and take that big glass sculpture out because we wanna add, we really kinda of miss having um, Celestial Pearl Danios, Galaxy Rasbora, and uh, we used to have them and they were in with the other Tetras when we changed this stuff around and we're trying to breed the betas. And then when that tank leaked, they ended up going to the Green Lantern tank, and then there was like the big war, remember that? And there was a lot of casualties, and those guys didn't really survive that whole incident. Uh, so that was a horrible loss. We had those guys for about a year. Anyway, we're gonna rescape this a little bit, change it, and ultimately get those guys, and we'll do a video when we do. But we're gonna move this glass sculpture out to make room, oh, look at there. There you go. Mid, uh, mid para snailing happened right there. I don't know if you caught that on tape. Yeah, I did. Shout out to Jeff Pelham, Pelham Aquatics. He uh, coined the <laughs> para snailing that we've done quite a few shorts about. Anyway, right behind me, that guy did it. Big golden snail there, awesome. So anyway, that's the deal going on with there. Now, then we went for spring break. We came home for spring break. Unfortunately, Gamora, who has been doing incredibly well, and her tank's been doing incredibly well, and everything's been going very good there. Jack actually got this little Ronin guy here that he replaced the Infinity Gauntlet. We were like, like a little flea market thing you found him for like a buck, right? Yeah, it was pretty cool. So we took Ronin, put him over there, uh, and then Groot was over here and everything, and everything was going good. The um, auto sync lists that were in here were doing well, and everything was going good. We came home for spring break, and George Costanza was freaking out at the bottom of this tank. Apparently she had jumped out. And we don't really know how, the water was down low, she had never really tried to. There's a tiny opening in the back, tiny opening in the front. But if you, if you close up in, in, in here, you can see that the pothos leaves there kind of gather in the back and on the top. And she would quite often go up and sleep in those pothos leaves and maybe she woke up shocked one time or something. And Possibly, out. yeah, that's probably- We don't really know. We really, have not had a lot of fish jump out of tanks. Some people have, it's not something that we have experienced a lot. I mean, there was the one incident where we were feeding and the one jumped out and Lacey ate her and that was horrible. We laugh about it now, but it was pretty traumatic. But it's not something that we've experienced a ton of. Unfortunately, following that up, we did a lot of research. We started looking online and we couldn't find glow betas anywhere, right? Yeah. And then we started making some phone calls. And we found out someone basically told us that worked for a really big pet store, local pet store, RMS, that we talked about that I worked for in high school and college. They said that a hurricane wiped out the breed, the beta breeding glowfish area of where they do this. And I, I didn't really follow up with it a lot more than that, but I did make a few more calls, got similar stories from other people, and cannot find them anywhere on the internet. Even Glowfish's website has completely removed all their betas. So this may actually be true. We may have had one of the last living glow betas on the planet, and she decided... Yeah, it's kind of sad, though. To jump. It's very sad. Yeah. Honestly, it stinks. 
Um, I'm sure they can probably... We rescued her from a horrible situation, right? Yeah. And mended her back to health, and then she was living, and she was here for quite a few I'm months. I'm sure they can probably rejuvenate the population for sure, because, you know, they know how to do it, but it's just kind of sad. Maybe they kept the DNA, like, in the Jurassic Park movie, hidden in, like, a shaving cream can or something. I don't know. It's a crazy story. If anybody else knows anything about this, put something in the comments. We haven't, like, followed up more than that, but... Uh, Anyway, that's what happened, and it was really sad, and we don't really know why she did that or whatever. Uh, George was just, like, going crazy at the bottom, and I found her down there dead, and she was perfectly fine before we left, and we have someone come to feed the fish, and she came just a couple days before we got back and said she was fine and ate, and so we don't know. It must have happened right before we got back, but anyway, that's the story with that. We don't know what we're going to do with this tank right now. Um, we did make it for Glowfish. doesn't necessarily have to be Glowfish. If we do put another bait in, we're going to let the water come down a little bit further. Um, in addition, probably block some of that in the back. Um, obviously, if we can't get a glow beta, even though it was made for a glow beta, um, probably get a white one or something like that just because it has blue lights or something. But we'll certainly be a little more careful. Those things do happen to people. And again, we took what we thought was enough precautions by putting a lid and blocking a lot of it with the pothos. But for some reason, that happened. Uh, that takes us down to the She Shed, which was originally made to be a man cave. Then we made it a She Shed for Mary Bromfield because she was the biggest, hugest, most amazing female beta we have ever seen in our lives, right, dude? Yeah, she was cool. She was cool and she was huge. She was also getting older and slowing down a lot. She died about a week after we got back from spring break. So it was like Wade died about six weeks ago, and then during spring break, a couple weeks ago when we got back, we found out about... Gamora, and then about a week or so after we got back, Mary died. And so, again, the autos are in there, kind of taking care of that little tank. Chances are, and this one does have a very good lid and everything on it and no open spaces, so uh, we may we may turn it back to a um, a man cave and put a put a male beta in there, um, male beta in there, possibly even this one. We're not exactly sure. This one probably CPDs. Look at this guy. He's just crazy. He went right back up there, didn't he? Look at that go-getter. Now, as far as this one down here, um, this one we transferred over to being a, the beach tank, transferred over to being a guppy tank a um, couple of months ago and did a whole video on that, and it's doing very well. We've got, we did add some females, so we have males and females. They're trying to start to have a little hanky-panky and everything like that now. You can see them all coming up to the front when I have my hand. Very nice. They're like uh, albino red and things like that, and they're very cool. What we're going to do with that is we decided to add another filter. This is the little filter that we have in there. We did a video with Aquatop. We actually met um, their sales rep in person well, like a year and a half ago. We went to the uh, Ohio Cichlid Extravaganza dealio. Very nice young lady. We've stayed in touch with her. And um, these are very cheap. These little tiny ones are really, really, really cool. We're going to actually add another one just because... These are the really cool ones that have a little stone in them. Langan, uh, we'll put a link in the description for her website. She does a, a lot of fish and animals and great stuff. She actually gave us that. She did like a little giveaway and gave us that first one several years ago. We ended up using it. We put it inside that little pink guy right there. And the thing is, is it works really good. You can tell that water is very clear and bubbles, but it is kind of surrounded by that castle. So what we did is we got another castle over our LFS. We swatched this off so I sit on a towel. We're gonna add another castle. This one is gonna go inside of this one, obviously. You see there's holes on the top. We're gonna to, we're gonna put two filters in here, two bubblers, just because there's gonna be more fish in there and they might start breeding. There's also a lot of nearite snails and there's also autocyclus in there. So it's only like an eight, nine gallon tank. So it looks like a 10, but it's actually a little smaller because it's a critter cage, not, a, not an aquarium, which we've talked about when we made it like years ago and did a video on it. But anyway, if you look down here, we're gonna move some stuff around. And we're gonna have to take some of the water down and slide it out a little bit because that bigger castle won't fit in here. So that's gonna be a whole thing too. So anyway, this might be a little bit, we figured we'd just kind of make one long video on these guys, on the whole beta tank and everything. We actually don't have any more beta left at all. All that kind of happened over the last few months or a couple months, but it will be a beta tank again. We're gonna have guppies, we're gonna have beta and probably CPDs up here. The reason we're going to go with CPDs is, first of all, we love them, and they do like to swim more of a length. And with this being a 20 long, we think it'll be cool. The other thing is, we don't heat these tanks, and CPDs don't really need heat. 
um, whereas a lot of the other guys like that do. Plus, we just love how they look, and we think they're gonna look really cool in this. The other thing we're gonna do, this little guy right here, we're gonna replace that little tiny globe since we're gonna have room moving that base with, with this. This was like a banister post that we found when we helped uh, Pamela clean out her parents' house after they passed away. And it's a big, huge acrylic ball that sat like on the end of a banister in their house that was knocked off and it actually cracked. You see the crack in it here, and but it didn't separate. And you could see it kind of left these this cool glare in the middle. See where it split there? So we're actually gonna lean it this way and that little light's gonna shine up from the bottom through that. It might look cool or it might look like crap. We have no idea, right? Mm -hmm. But we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna give it a try. So we're just kind of tired of the globe. Got that at a garage sale for like 50 cents and it's worked out really well. But since we're taking all that out, this guy's gonna go right there and kind of help to cover up the filter a little bit. And then we're gonna bring the moss over here and all that. And so we're gonna do that today. And if we get to the beach tank, we will. And if not, that'll be another video, right? Yeah. So this is a neat thing though. Uh, I remember when I saw it, I was kind of attracted to it. And I didn't notice it was broke. I thought it just looked like that. Yeah, well, at first I did too. I thought it was just a design, but then I noticed you could feel here, there's a little bit of a crack and you could see the crack starts here and kind of goes here and then it stops. Um, so it kind of gives it that unique look. So I think we're gonna shine the light up through the bottom and then it'll it'll shoot through. And like I said, we if it doesn't look good, we'll turn it this way or sideways. But I figured we'd experiment with it since it had this nice flat bottom. It had a bunch of adhesive, but I was able to clean that off. So. I don't know, it's just a neat little thing. So we're gonna give it a try and it would be kind of neat to have a part of her parents kind of home in, in one of our tanks and that because she said she always remembered this as a kid growing up. She grew up in that house, she lived there her whole life and it you know it, it fell off and cracked and they just it was just sitting in a corner somewhere in a closet. So it might be neat to kind of see if it works in one of our tanks. So stay tuned guys, we're gonna work on these, see how this all works out. All right, how do you think it looks, man? It looks cool, it's very big. It's, it's kind of bigger than we thought when it's way up there on top of that tank. But one of the things is we couldn't really reach it real good because you got to like dust this kind of stuff. So we actually just rinsed it off and everything real good. Being down here, it'll be a little easier. I like it. Um, it's It certainly is big, but, you know, again, we like this being in the middle of the table. It looks more foresty. I like it. It's yeah, it's neat. If you haven't seen the video we did on this tank, this centerpiece tank here in our rec room, we'll put a link in the description. Um, it's, it was a really fun project and it's doing very well. We actually did that quite a few months ago, um, when we started the whole thing and did a video, I don't know, a month or so ago, but we will uh, be doing a follow up on it cause we actually added a few other things and changed some other things in addition to this, but we just wanted to show you where this was going and I think it looks really cool. You like it, Lace? Lace is like, yeah, I like it. It's cool, man. <laughs> so we'll do a follow up on this tank soon, but for now, it's sitting in there pretty good and we dig it. So let's get back to the other tanks. All right, so here's how far we made it. Show them the top real quick. We took the sponges off because, you know, we were mixing it all up. We did get that orb in there. We're not done adjusting it yet. Jack wants me to turn it a little bit more like counterclockwise to angle more, but it does look cool, doesn't it? It does look neat, yeah. With the lights out, it's gonna look a lot better, but uh, we're kind of letting that settle down a little bit and everything. And we're gonna, um, <laughs> Uh, put the sponges back on, we kind of clean them, haven't cleaned them in a while, and then we'll let it settle, see what it looks like at night, pop it off a little bit. This tank's good to go, we kind of just um, didn't really have to do much to it at all, we're just, you know, letting it cycle and do its thing. This one, um, we just kind of um, took that, that little rock, that little piece of rock down here in the beach tank, and it's actually like from the Grand Canyon or whatever, it's kind of neat, we just threw it in this tank. These autos are doing good, topped it off. This one's doing great. Come down here to the beach tank. Here, let me just take it from you. I'm sitting right in front of it. Um, so we took that little uh, castle, put it over here, and uh, we're actually hooking up another airline. And then this right here, you see kind of how we're doing this. This obviously, oh yeah, actually here you hold it again. <laughs> we move those little trees out of the way and we move that, that was no big deal. This guy is gonna kind of go something like this, um, where it just goes right inside. So it's gonna be just like the other castle. It's gonna be like a hidden filter and then come off the top. We're gonna have it kind of like sideways. I like this castle. It's got like a little bridge, got a lot of openings and you'll be able to see it from that side because you can view that side of the tank. And then from the front, 
And it's cool because you can see it's very hollow and all the guppies will be able to go in here and go through the caverns. And of course, if they have babies and stuff, which is cool. But uh, this is gonna go like this. This little guy is gonna get hooked up. I might actually have it come out of this one and get hooked up to a pump. And then they're both gonna be blowing uh, bubbles and filtering. And anyway, the thing is, this thing almost fits in, but it doesn't fit all the way in. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take the water down a little bit. We're gonna try to slide this tank out just about a centimeter or two squeeze this guy in, get him hooked up, and then we'll show you what the whole thing. All we had to do is move a couple trees and everything it was no big deal, but ultimately it was really easy. Guppies are all just kind of watching and chilling out and checking it out and looking forward to their new uh, their new castle. So we'll get this all situated, set it up, and then show you what all these guys look like and then show you what they look like at night and everything. All right, we got it all done. Lacey helped us out, didn't she? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for helping, Lace. Let's turn this around, take a look how everything came out. All right, so it was a long, rainy, gloomy day. We just kind of worked inside here. Um, we were eating and watching a movie, letting everything settle. Go ahead, hit that light over there, and we're going to kind of show everybody how everything turned out. Yeah, big difference when that light's out. We still got a lot of light kind of coming in. The yeah, sun actually ended up coming out now, so. <laughs> but anyway, this one. Kinda looks like, it kind of looks like the Bifrost. Like in the. Oh, yeah. In the, yeah. In the room. It, it it really came out cool, man. Well, first of all, that whole thing's gone. We may hang something up there. I don't. We'll have to decide. We used to have some things up there. We may have to. Maybe I'll push that fish thing up there. That fish oh, yeah, that's metal yeah, thing. That's yeah, I think we had it over here. But anyway, we may do that with that bamboo gone. I like the bamboo in the front though. Anyway, it came out pretty cool. You can see we kind of spread the roots and the moss in that. But look how this thing came out, guys. Let me turn these off for a second. So those are the side ones. Those have our emblems. Look how this thing came out. So that crack like reflects the glass. It kind of looks like a like a dragon or a phoenix or something, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Monster kind of thing. Something. There's still a little dust on it. I'm gonna turn these lights back on. So these are the side lights. Those are our signs. We did that quite a long time ago. Jack's Aquarius. So we've got a snail cleaning that one off already. And this one's Sagittarius, that's me. The snails and the others, oh, the autos, they're like, oh, you, you talking about us? Look, he's, oh, he was just gonna go on, but I think I scared him. Um, oh, there's the big snail too. There's a couple of big golden snails. So anyway, they've been cleaning everything off. You can see the sponges are real clean. There, but it's kind of cool, because when you look at it from the front, I mean, you can kind of see the sponges a little bit, but it hides the filter a little bit there, you know? And I think this stuff will end up growing in more and everything like that. But the pothos is doing great. That's how that tank came out. We're real happy with it. Um, we may, we may decide to, I don't know, maybe we'll just let the moss kind of grow across or something, but I do like it without those other plants. I like it a little more open. When we get the CPDs, or if we decide on something different, we'll see what we decide on. Probably going to be CPDs though, right? Yeah, they're cool. We like the galaxies. Yeah. Look when it turns red, it just keeps changing color. It's super cool. I'm going to probably do a video at the end of this, like way at night where it's totally dark, just to be cool just to just see the difference. So this one, again, we didn't do a ton on here. Um, if you didn't see how we built this one, it was really neat. We did a four part series. There's a couple under gravel lights right there. We got a black light. Again, very, very sad situation where um, Gamora unfortunately jumped out. We're gonna let this go down a little bit, even lower, and probably fill the back in with some foam or something before we put a new fish in there. You were thinking, uh, you saw a couple that were like white and blue, like maybe males that you thought would look pretty cool in there. Yeah, those look neat. I mean, if we're not able to get glow betas, and again, leave a comment in the description if you know anything. But that's the last we heard, right? Yeah. We don't know. We don't know if that stuff's true. What's going on with glowfish? But that's what we heard. So that one's going to just be status quo for now till we decide. The sh the man cave turned. She said she shed. Now probably going to be a man cave again. Just kind of put that rock there in the middle. We love this little tank. The um, little awesome autos are doing great. They're keeping it clean. Got that little uh, DIY on a gravel filter in there that we did. And a pothos is kind of, it'll kind of, it kind of grows back and then it'll die off and they'll eat it and it'll grow back. But the roots are staying there and it's pretty cool. And uh, we'll see how that continues to go. Now the beach aquarium really came out awesome. I'm going to kind of back up just to see it. Where'd Lacey go? Lace, go get her. She, this is her. She went off into the sun patch because the sun came out. This is her favorite tank because she can actually see it compared to most of our tanks, so she comes up to it. Anyway, um, really, really, really happy how this one came out. 
So again, we ended up putting up, there she is, say hi. You love this tank, don't you, Lace? Yeah, she likes this one because it's actually her height. <laughs> so this castle, these guys are all over it. Ever since we put it in here, they're going in and out of it. It's got a lot of holes, it's got a lot of openings. They're going around, they're checking it out, they're going inside of it. The males, the females, both. And it'll be a really cool hiding place, like, you know, if they have babies and stuff like that. Um, really happy how that came out. Kind of like how we bunched some of the, we had to move some of the trees out of the way, so we bunched them together and they came out awesome. The little horn near right was sitting here on the beach chair, but he moved. I don't know where he went. Oh, he's over here. I mean, over here to the side, there he is. And we decided to just keep this in and make it a double filter tank because they are kind of enclosed in there and with all these new guys. But these guys, the white and the red and the orange and them really contrast awesome against everything. We kind of pushed all the pothos roofs behind the uh, castles. There are a lot of nearite snails that have passed away in here. We kind of just push their shells in for decoration, but there's a lot of them that are still alive. A lot of times they go up to the top. You'll see them up here at the tops. There they are there, but yeah, they're, they're digging this new castle. You can see how the filter came out there. Really cool, just kind of bubbles out of the top there. Just a little clear inlet and then same thing over here. Kind of a constant bubble. So that'll be really nice and clean. The autos are digging it. And again, this uh, pond here lights up at night. So I'll do a little thing at the end here, probably later. You gotta go to your cousins, right? Yeah. But uh, Jack's always heading over to the cousins to do things, but he's gonna go over there. And then later tonight when it's real dark, I'll show you what this looks like completely with the lights out. Um, I can kind of show you a little bit. We have this on a foot stamp, so we can just go pow and then turn the whole rack off. So, Obviously, that's what that looks like. You can kind of see the light coming through a little bit there, but at night it's really cool because it lights up blue. And uh, this one doesn't really have any night effects. This one, of course, does. And we can turn this one off. This is the overhead. Again, a little bit of a glare, but you can see the uh, fiber optics then. And that's so really neat, but I'll reel. Oh, there's a the snail's clean this one more again. That came out cool, man. I definitely see like a dragon in there, like his head. Maybe because we just saw Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> we saw Dungeons and Dragons, good movie, by the way. Um, so, yeah. So I'll come back at night here. You gonna come with me, Lace? You gonna help me out? You gonna help me out, huh? She likes this tank, because she can kind of look in there and check them out. She gets her nose on it sometimes, but I don't mind cleaning it. So me and Lace will come back here. All right, Lace? Lace, she's trying to lick me. She's trying to lick me. We'll come back and we'll we'll check it out and see what it looks like like in pitch black. All right, guys. So here it is, late when it's really dark. Check out how that thing that orb totally lights up the ceiling and the wall and everything. That's super cool. Let's see what it looks like close up. Looks like there's some snails on it. Cleaning it off. Came out awesome. Isn't that crazy? That just like a crack in there. So neat. Let's turn these other lights on here. There's the sign lights. Oh yeah, really cleared up nice. Really cleared up awesome. You see the autos swimming around there and the snails. There's one of the big gold snails right in front. Cleaning everything up. Look at those antennas swinging. Look at that mouth going. So that's the top one. There's the guardians one at night. This is with the blue light off, like the black light, and just the, the uh, fiber optic. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. And then this one doesn't really have any night lights, the man cave one. And this one, see, you can see how that lights up the bottom. It actually lights up the glass shelf, which is kind of cool, cool effect there. And then you can see how that little Pond, that little oasis lights up and kind of reflects onto the chair and stuff. See the house. All these guys are sleeping in there. That's that little. <laughs> that's that little horned uh, near right there. See when the guppies kind of come over the pond. 
little lake area, you can see them. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's how it looks at night, guys. Came out great. Like I said, we're pretty sad how everything kind of happened. Losing all these guys kind of close together, but that's how it goes sometimes, you know? Oh, wow, look at this with the white lights. It goes all the way up there. So, we'll probably be stocking this guy up soon. I'm going to go with some CPDs, like we said. This guy's wide awake tonight. And all that. So, just want to kind of show you what it looked like at night. Turn these white ones back off here. Show you that orb. That orb really came out cool. Just a tiny little color changing LED on the bottom of the tank, shining through. See if this guy's gonna jump. Looked like he was gonna jump, maybe. <laughs> no, he's not gonna jump. I love when they jump like that. So there you go. We'll uh, be doing a video soon here. Kind of showing them all when we get new fish for them and everything like that. Just want to do an update on all these guys, clean them up, change them around, scape them a little bit different. And uh, we're doing a follow up soon to get some new guys. Came out cool. Take it easy, guys. See you soon.